the Homeland Return Act. That's what it says. Basically, it's, a, it's an act that we are hoping when it is out will streamline what we have been doing already, the processes, and you know, of course, fully define the criteria for anyone in the diaspora looking to come back to Ghana and you know, living with us, investing with us, and then course contributing towards our um, development. So that is what the Homeland Act is out to address. Before the Homeland Act, occur, it's also important to realize that we have the, the what do you call it, there are other opportunities for people to relate to the country. Basically, we have the opportunity for the diaspora already, which will give them the opportunity to live here after eight years which is not quite good enough for them, which people were not taking advantage of. So we have decided that we would rather, you know, short circuit the whole process and make it uh, uh, meaningful for them to take advantage of, which is why the Homeland Return Act is being looked at. Among other things, the president is also of the view that um, even as we are trying to woo the diaspora to come in, we need to make sure that um, the financial obligations that are imposed on them can also be can can also be uh, lessened. So that is why we are embarking on this initiative, so that people can relate to us from the diaspora without that too much hassle. You know, I think very much so. Um, the business community is a very clever community. You may recognize that um, they tend to go to where it is very reasonable for them to go, and on, on the evidence that is so far available, that is what they are doing. When you have no less than CNN and other organizations you know, saying good things about the country and you have no less an organization like Twitter and all those big organizations looking to come to Ghana, that gives you the impression that yes, something good is happening here in Ghana and in the future across Africa. So this is the place for growth. This is the place that one can really get something out of their investment. I mean, those of us who have lived out there know, for instance, that with your savings and with your basic you know, uh, investment, the returns that you get on it is virtually negligible. So this is the place that you have to come. The key sectors of growth that we already, you know, uh, by this initiative of the year of return and beyond the return, are highlighting on our hospitality and the tourism sector as a major place where you know, we should be preparing ourselves for the influx, for those who will be coming in, for them to be able to do all the things that they can do. But I think one key thing that is coming along nicely, of course we've seen a bit of it, is our housing industry. How the housing industry has to be prepared for all the people who are coming in to enable them to live comfortably here is one major thing. Because we should bear in mind that some people are coming from a, life stand, a lifestyle and standards that is already high and very well known. So of course, if they are coming in, we should be looking to provide the same opportunities to make them feel very much at home which is what we are doing. So I think I want to take an opportunity to say hi, to uh, thank you to Yofi for doing this marvelous work. I think it only goes to show that working together, government organizations can do so much. And I'm excited that he's provided that opportunity for all of us to think for once, forget about everything and think investment, investment.